What's up guys, it's Coach Zach with Ultimate Baseball Training. Today I'm gonna to show you pitching drills that you can do away from the field. You know, whether that be at home, in your front yard, backyard, in your basement, there's no equipment needed to do these drills, but I guarantee you they will help elevate your game to the next level. Without further ado, let's get going. The first one we're going to talk about today is just a simple balance drill. A lot of times, you know, we have we have a hard time coming to this position in our leg lift and being able to hold that. Now in our pitching motion, obviously, you know, we're not going to come to our leg lift and just stop. We want to keep the momentum going. But the problem with that is, you know, if we can't balance, even we're going to try to we're going to try to get away from that and not really make that a problem by coming in and just kind of falling. When we fall forward in our motion, we fall through our leg lift almost, you could say. We leak that power that we're gonna to try to generate from that back hit by sinking down into it and moving, getting down the hill in a very like, efficient, you know, quick manner. So what we're trying to do here is being able to come to our leg lift and being able to hold it and control it. Just so when we come, when we come through our leg lift, we're getting to a position where we can utilize all the power we're gonna generate through our motion and ultimately throw that ball harder to the plate. Now there's a couple different steps to this drill. You know, the first step we wanna make sure that we can master just being able to hold, we know whether a five, 10 second count, just being able to make sure we can really hold this so when we put it into live action, we can be able to be controlled. The second step, if you don't have a problem with this, a more advanced drill, you can kind of take this same drill and just go forward and backwards. So your uh, lead foot is going behind your foot and then coming back. So, so make sure we're keeping that balance and being able to move with that balance. So once we've kind of mastered that drill and the more advanced part of it, going behind and being able to toe tap multiple times while keeping our balance, we're gonna to try to put that all into motion. You don't need a ball, we're not throwing here. We're just trying to get our body and get that muscle memory going so we can take that into our game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go leg lift and balance for a couple seconds, and then we're gonna go back behind our foot and toe tap, come forward again, and on this last back uh, toe tap, we're actually gonna come up here and just drive through our motion almost like it's a normal pitch, but the arm action is not very fast. We're not throwing. This is the drill you can do at home just to work on your game away from the field. So we're gonna be doing, like we said, backwards, forwards, backwards, and we're gone. So let's go ahead and get a few repetitions in. All right, follow with me here. So now that we kind of talked about, you know, our, our leg on the rubber, we talked about balancing on that for our leg lift. Now we're gonna to go to the other leg and talk about being able to balance and control our follow through and our leverage, making sure we're getting over that front side and really making sure we drive that ball down through the zone as hard and often as possible. So what we're gonna do, again, no throwing. You can do this wherever. You don't even need a glove if you don't have one on hand. So we're gonna come up, it's almost a reverse leg lift. So for me, being a right-handed pitcher, I'm gonna lift my right leg, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just basically gonna be turning my hips and my shoulders and just following through like a fake throw. But what we don't wanna do is get here when we do it, because that's counterproductive. We're not really working on what we need to be working on. So what, how we're gonna do this is really make sure we're getting only our hips and our shoulders turned. So my knee and my front foot are still pointing straight. So we're getting here and just going through a basic throwing motion. And if you have to come down after your throw, that's fine. But eventually, once you keep doing this and get more repetitions and get more advanced, you're gonna be able to just keep on one leg and do multiple repetitions of it. All right, so now that we've explained everything, let's do it together. So I'm gonna start right here and then just a fake throw, an easy motion, and we're just working on 
getting that over that front side, driving that ball down. Now we're going to talk about a drill that you can just, you know, find a wall, wherever that may be, and you can do this drill. So the point of this drill is to really correct some problems when it comes to flying open or, you know, we're getting over rotated and that ball is really leaking behind, behind our body. So what the point of this drill is to make sure we're staying on a straight line. We're keeping that head over that belly button, that belly button over our belt to make sure we can stay as in line as possible and having all of our power and torque that we generate going straight towards that catcher. So again, this is a no throwing drill. You can do this wherever you just gotta find a wall. So what I'm gonna do is get fairly close to the wall, but not close enough to where I can hardly move. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be going through my basic motion, okay? And trying to stay straight. The reason that we use a wall is because if you have a problem with uh, falling off and you're getting open with your stance, you're gonna know that because you're gonna hit the wall. Or, you know, when you follow through, you're gonna hit the wall. And the point of this drill is to not hit the wall. So when we come through, we want to be very straight and going straight towards that target because that's what we want to do on the mound. Another, another reason we use this wall, if you have a problem, you know, coming here and you get over rotated and over rotated with your shoulders and trying to do too much, trying to throw too hard, this drill can also be for you. So the reason we use the wall, when we do that, you're going to be able to know because you're going to hit the wall and we don't want that. We want to be as straight as possible so we can really tone down all the extra stuff and use as much power and torque as we can and get as straight to the plate as possible. So now we're, we're just gonna do a few reps so you, can, you guys can follow me and do it with me if you want. So that's it, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And really quickly before you go, Coach Zach and I put together a free gift for you that's gonna help any pitcher at any level take their velocity to that next level. So improve your velocity a few miles per hour, as well as just keep your arm safe, healthy, and strong all year long. So this gift is 100% free. All you have to do to grab it is just click on this card right here. That'll take you to a page. All we need is your email address so we know where to send this free gift. So go ahead, do that right now. Click on this card, go grab your free gift. Last thing, if you're not subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're coming out with brand new baseball videos every single week and I don't want you to miss any of them. So hit that subscribe button, go grab your free gift. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.